Come on, Ice Cream Man. Come on, WWPDX Ice Cream Man. Come on in here. I got the video game rolling. Hey right, man, well cool man. I got you on the video gate again, Ice Cream Man. Good to hear you. Good to hear you. Always good to hear my WWPDX brothers out here. Ice Cream Man. I heard that. I heard that, Ice Cream Man. I'm gonna tell you what, man. I belong to a lot of forums, man. I belong to a lot of CB forums, and it seems like. The guys from the WWPDX, half the guys I've talked to, the other forums, I may have talked to three or four people. It seems like uh, the WWPDX is where all the big boys hang out at. Yeah, that's how we do it down here, man. WWPDX is getting out. We got to set an example for the world. Yeah, we do it down here, man. I ain't lying, man. I'm on a lot of radio forums. It seems like the WWPDX radio forum. It seems like everybody <clears throat> that puts it in my radio is on that WWPDX forum. But hey, man, you sounded good. I got you on the video gate, homeboy, once again. And four, Mr. 4040, sounding good as usual, man. Yeah, we've been on that WWPDX, man, trying to, uh, trying to look around there, man. You know how to do Yeah, I heard that. <clears throat> well, it is what it is. I'm glad you can hear me. I'm just a little mud duck out here. I'm just a little mud duck out here on the west side. I'm like the blind squirrel that gets the nut every now and then there, right? Yeah, both can't, man. My daddy told me, quit crying and start crying. Yeah, both can't, man. Quit crying and start buying. That's what my daddy told me, too. Showing up then, he said, you want to be number one, son, you got to reach in that pocket. <laughs> but at least I'm in the top 1,000, I think. I think I'm in the top 1,000, somewhere around there. That's good enough for me. I tell you what, man, as much as I want to be in. I don't know about the top 10, man, but uh, I'm getting ready to put it together a... Uh, some new equipment. It might move me up into the top 200, maybe. <laughs> I'm in the top 1,000 now. I think I'll move into the top 200 when I set up my new station here, Roger. 40, 40, every time you set those beans down this lane, man, I hear it all to the all, because that's all I got in my receipt. <laughs> I hear you, man. Like I said, I'm like the blind squirrel gets a nut every now and then. <clears throat> But yeah, man, good to hear you. Good to hear you. Now, what part of Texas are you in, man? Where you at right now? I think I'm, I think I'm losing some other nature, man. But hey, it was good talking with you. I'll post this up on my uh, video gates and uh, check it out, man. Show all your friends what a bad man you are. Take care. Have a great turkey day. 4040. Great shakies. My WWPDX brother. 4040 is in the clear. 40 ain't nobody but your ice cream man, baby. Bye, bye, bye. All right, ice cream man. All right, ice cream man. I'm your ice cream man. Stop me when I'm passing by. All my flavors are guaranteed to satisfy. <laughs> Some old band Haley and I'm gone. Oh, 420. 420 round 10. Come on down. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the best condition, conditions, 420. But I am waving a hand at you. 420, my homeboy around Tennessee. 40, 40, green shakies getting on down. Yeah, whole 309. 
L309 around 10, come on down. Yeah, I've been out there around Memphis 10. I actually been to Elvis's house. I've been to Elvis's house, man. Hung out at the hung out on the Hound Dog One airplane even. The Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> oh three oh nine, come on down. Yeah, right, John. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be in Tennessee in the end of June. I'm heading out to the Manchester break. Hope to see everybody in Manchester at the end of June. I'll be out there at the big Channel 28 break there, Roger. All right, 309. 309, take care, man. I got a bunch of them jumping in there now. Have a blessed day and a great turkey day. 309, 4040, great shake is a cali. I'll see ya. Yes, I am going to bring the John Denver pickle foot if they let me take it on the airplane. I will bring the John Denver pickle foot if they let me bring it on the airplane. I got to call up first, see if I can bring it on the airplane. Bring her. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I don't know, they got all that new scanner stuff and all this new crazy stuff. So I don't know if they're going to let me bring that John Denver pickle foot with me. Who is that? Is that a uh, ice cream man? No, man, 118. Oh, 118. Sorry about that, 118. I should have known you got that clean sound station. Hey, 118. I'll try to bring that John Denver pickle foot with me. <laughs> All right, 118. Hey, 118, are you talking on that, uh... Are you talking on that Victor 4000 right now? Yeah, that's right. That's a good antenna, man. That's a doggone good antenna right there, man. I tell people that's a, probably one of the best ground planes on the market there, Roger. Yeah, if I live back there, man, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea as uh, bring the beams down in the wintertime and put one of them up, you know what I mean? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea with them ice storms and all that. Because I've seen some beams online, and them ice storms, they get mangled, man. They get mangled. snap. I always hear about how, you know, light, and when we got it, the aluminum was real light, so we took a bottle of that foam, you know, the liquid foam, shot it through the bottom, so it came out the top of the beam, and uh, that stiffened it up like crazy, man. We had a 65, 70 mile an hour wind one day, and that thing was barely even bending, man. 
It was barely bending, and it seems to hold up to the weather real good. Of course, we don't have ice and all that there, right? Yeah, because I know a couple people that had them, and they broke in the wind, you know? Because we do get some 100-mile-an-hour wind here right around uh, uh, April. April, we get some real heavy winds. Matter of fact, it bent my uh, my piece and went from my rotor to my beam, man. Just a small section, only two foot, and it bent it. So, uh, yeah, we put foam in there, man. It worked good. Yeah, man, the foam's definitely a good idea. Yeah, I heard you talking oh, about we, uh, we rehashed it again a day or two after, and, uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm really debating, or, you know, thinking hard about doing it if I do the five. Plus, it keeps the rain out, too. It keeps the rain out. So when it rains, you know, the water don't get down in the antenna. You know, a lot of times put a weep hole in the bottom, but because we filled it up, it never got rain in it either. And, you know, the signal just resonates on the outside of the antenna anyway, not in the, not in the center of the antenna. So it don't hurt, don't hurt the signal at all there, right? the name of that antenna let me uh let me look it up i got such a damn bad memory let me uh let me get you the name of the website to go to hang on hello 44 hello 44 on the dock of the bay 357 around tennessee yeah hello 357 i hear you out there i hear you out there yeah it's www.hp HP, like Hewlett Packer, HPSD dot NL, www dot HPSD dot NL. This is probably the best antenna I've seen on the market, though I'd never tried it. But I think it's the best. I'm, I'm buying one. I'm buying one. So we'll see what happens when I buy one. We'll see what, what's going on. How many elements? They make, a, they make a three, four, five, I think a six and a seven. The seven element's got a 60-foot boom on it. The seven element's got a 60-foot boom, and I think the three element is a 30-foot boom. I think the, no, the uh, five element has got a 30-foot boom on it. Hey, 4040, how much multiplication factor does that three element have? 4040, 357, come on. All right, 357, they go by, uh, let me look. Let me look at the specifications. Dude, they're actually real specifications. They're not over, uh, you know what I mean? You know some people. Look at Joe Gunn, Jesus. They're saying they're doing a quadrillion, and they don't even do half of what they say, not even a quarter. All right, man. All right. That's, I don't know, man. That's crazy. 8040, I've been wondering about that for a long time. Everybody's got something different to say. 8040. 8040. Hey, I'm going to shoot you my phone number. All right. You on the WW? Are you on the WWPDX? No, I just have to have you give me a, give me a phone call at area code 931-589-6574. All right, 410. I got that on the video gate. I'll uh, go back through this and I'll call you up, man. Yeah, yeah, check out that antenna online, the HPSD antenna. Dude, they're saying the, uh, the three element has uh, how much gain? Hang on. Let me look at the three here. Dan Roger, I bet it's got a lot of gain with that boom, man. It's all on that boom. That blew my mind when you said three elements. I thought you said on a, on a 30-foot boom. No, the three element is, uh, 
I have to do the math here. 